Hello. So, uh, just want to give a little more introduction to me and my backstory. Uh, my name is Alex Niederhauser, and uh, yeah, the this is my environment where I've been recording my music stuff. Uh, so far, the bass has all been in my room. This is where I sleep and uh, within the place I live. So. Uh, just to back up a sec, um, I was involved in a very serious car accident in 2002. Um, and I currently now re still receive some support through the statewide head injury program at uh, this group living facility where I'm at. Um, I'm considered independent at this point, um, which is good, but there's, you know, it's a still not a full independence and I'm still reaching towards that. You know, I've got difficulties with uh, anxiety um, and other things, some memory as well, um, that are still somewhat, uh, you know, creating obstacles for me to, to move forward fully, but it's all process, not perfection. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been using expression, um, musical expression particularly, but also I like talking and sometimes writing stuff. Um, and yeah, it's been very good for me, uh, just like any type of expression exercise as well, but, uh, and creativity, um, all have been extremely helpful, um, you know, to work through some of the obstacles that I've felt, you know, post COVID, uh, specifically, um, you know, in the broader sense, like how just all of us have been more isolated, the co community at large. Um, but then also after I personally had COVID towards the end of 2020, and that was a tough time, um, among other things. But yeah, I, you know, we're all going through these difficult struggles and I think it's good to talk about it. And um, one key thing for me that has been uh, great therapy, other than literal therapy, uh, has been through music and stuff. So, um, I am going to play drums every day. I, or I have been aiming to sometimes, you know, busy at work on the weekends or something. Uh, I actually help out at another house under the statewide head injury program within the same program. Um, uh, just help out with like, uh, you know, getting them out of their rooms and kind of just being more active. Um, and we look up, you know, stuff on YouTube, which is always fun. Um, yeah, and I think the, I've also received support for doing this, which has been great because I'm often tentative and hesitant, even though I can be very outgoing in other ways. Um, yeah, it's been tough. So uh, thanks for bearing with me. Um, I have been having some difficulty just to continue on uh, getting to bed earlier and even to stay asleep. That's the worst is actually in the morning staying asleep. Um, and I know I often, I have a lot of energy throughout my day or appear to, especially over the last year or so. So it's hard to believe on the outside that I'm, you know, often lacking sleep, I think. But, you know, you can see pretty big bags under my eyes at times. Um, I've just been trying to work on different different ways to improve. Um, yeah, let me, could uh, some things have been helpful and I'm going to try actually to get it back into meditation, which I haven't done for a very long time. I think that could be very helpful. Yeah, anxiety has been difficult and I think that has gotten worse since I had Corona uh, or it got worse when I had Corona. It was really bad and then I, it ha dissipated a little, uh, but I still have anxiety kind of an empty feeling. It's not a nod in my chest, but just sort of an emptiness and sometimes a faster heartbeat in the morning I can notice or, um, so I'm trying to work on, you know, being able to take deep breaths, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, take my time. Those little things, just sometimes just taking a moment to do that can be really helpful. Whether I have to go to the restroom, if I'm at a public place or whatever, just sometimes deep breaths can be very helpful. Um, uh, yeah. 
So pretty much every day, at least once, I'll have five minute wave of nausea. Um, this has been for a long time now. It comes over me with like some heavy sweat feeling like right up below my, or kind of the mustache sweat. Uh, but then my palms bad. Um, and yeah, it's weird. It happens almost every day. Um, but luckily it's never, you know, led to vomiting or anything like that. Um, and often, it, yeah, with those, I just kind of accept it. I can tell the feeling and closing my eyes and breathing is very helpful. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's bring me back to just, you know, trying to be grounded and trying to find ways to improve. I hope um, you guys like some of my expression and showing how I've helped myself and maybe it can help others. Um, thank you very much and hope you stay tuned for more. Ta-ta.